What do you think of my new tailgate trio set? Let's make them. Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks. Uh, thanks for stopping by to see part two of my tailgate trio. Yesterday was my beer cozy mitten. Today is part two, which is the other hand, because you really shouldn't have mittens. If you have mitten, it's weird. You have to have two, otherwise it really doesn't, doesn't help you to stay warm if you only have one mitten on. If you need a mitten, you need two. So here's the other one. It's very easy. It's very, very similar to this. Um, the only part that's different really is making the uh, closing it up and making the thumb. So here you go like this. So cute. So cute. And I'm using Red Heart Super Saver and this one is Grenadine. It's really obnoxious pink. I'm keeping this one. This is my set so that's why I'm using the pink. And then I also used, um, I love this yarn and there's this little bit left. I have a little bit more than that, but it is uh, crushed raspberry, so it just has a little bit of pink flecks in it, and it's mostly white. Alright, so just like you did for this mitten, you start out with color A, which is this pink. So we have everything ready to go. Here's the pink that we started with, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven of our white color B. And then we end with the pink here. This is the wrong side because you can see some of the pink is showing through right in here. Some of the pink is showing through. When you look at the other side, they have these great ridges right here from the back loop only and here you actually see the loop so you want to have this on the inside so we want to fold put the uh, put the cuff on this side and fold it in half so your right side is out and now we are going to finish this off so I want to mark all my stitches just so I don't lose count along the way so I'm going to mark this first stitch and is matching one on the other side You know I love my stitch markers. It just makes everything faster and easier, I think, personally. Now there are 47 total, so the easiest way, you can just count them real quick. One, two, three, four, five, four, six. And then this little guy down here is 47. That's why I want to mark it. Since we're not doing chains all the time when we turn, we don't want to lose a stitch, because then I'll lose my count. 46 and 47 is this guy, so we're going to mark him too. Now we know we're going to be able to match up. All right, got my five millimeter hook because it used the hook that matches your yarn. And we are just going to single crochet these together. Remember, this is the right side, wrong side in, right side out. Here we go. Go through this very first stitch, both loops of this very first stitch, and the matching one on the other side. And we're going to single crochet through both, so bring through both loops, both sides, and single crochet. And we do this with 23 single crochets. So there was our first one, now we go through both loops of the, this side and both loops on the opposite side, pull through, single crochet. And remember it's 23, the other one was 27, this one is 23. So there's number 3, just do that all the way down. There's number 3, here's number 4. Here's number 5. And this is why we work loosely when we first start the very first chains in the very first row is you need to work back through those again and sometimes those can get really tight. So 
since we have to use them again. It's not a finished edge yet. It is now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Remember, we're going to 23. So here's eight. I'll meet you at 23. 22 and 23. Now I'm going to stop and mark the next stitch that I'm going to use. Especially if you're working with the dark yarn, sometimes these stitches are a little bit sneaky and they're hiding. And then on this side, I want to mark this stitch. The next stitch, or actually the last stitch, that was not used on that side. So I'm going to mark those so I can find them again easier. You know I love my stitch markers. Right, so there's 23. Now for this first side of the thumb, we are going to single crochet on this side only, right here, through both loops, seven. There's number two. So there's our seven, and this is going to be starting the thumb. So now we want to count over on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That will all be thumb. So we want to go in with our next stitch to pull these sides together on stitch number eight. So skip, skip seven on this side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And go into stitch number eight, which is right here. And we are going to single crochet, just like we did to close up the top. So you go through both loops on both sides and single crochet. So we're going to do that all the way to the end. There's two. And this last stitch, they're both marked, is number 17 to close up shop. There we go. So we did 23 to close up the cuff, 7 around here just for this side of the thumb hole, and then 17 all the way down to the tip of the mitten where your fingers would be. Now we can take these out. We don't need those ones anymore. At this point, you can finish this end off however you want. And we're going to get out a needle and we're just going to close this up. We're going to just whip stitch really, really fast. We'll turn this inside out so we can do this on the inside so it doesn't show. And there's nothing fancy and technical about how you whip stitch this closed. Just want to go all the way around this opening so we can cinch it shut. So however you want to do that. It's really simple. Any way you want, because it won't show. And then you just cinch this together so it's closed and give it a couple of stitches to make sure it doesn't pop open again. Don't want it to come open, then your fingers will be cold. Oh no, not that off. There. Now that's closed. Hooray! You can cut that off even a little bit further because it's going to be on the inside. doesn't really matter. We'll bring it back right side out again. And we can work on the thumb. So again there were seven on this side and there's seven on that side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So get our pink yarn, color A again. All right, so we're going to have seven on this side and seven on that side. We're going to work in the round, 14. So attach your color A, single crochet. I'm going to mark it. I've got lots of markers. We're going to take the other ones out here momentarily. So there's our one, 
just a regular old single crochet through every through both loops. There's four, five, six, and seven. Then we want to jump over to the other side. So turn your work. four, five, six, seven. So this right here, count from the pink one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is our first stitch right here because it hasn't been used yet. This one has not been used at all. So there's number seven and there's 14. You can count from this one all the way around just to make sure if you want. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So that's all we need for our thumb. We'll take out the, these ones that are my pink ones. Let's ditch those. And I can take out the blue ones. So now we're just going to work in the round. That was one. Now we're going to turn our work again and jump back over to this blue one. These first couple rounds are a little bit, a little bit harder to do because you're really turning a tight corner there. There's one. Now we're just going to go all the way around. Single crochets again for 14. And 14. And that was number two. Take these out. I don't need these anymore either because we used our very first stitch. All my markers are out now. So again, in the round, all the way around for the thumb. Super easy, super fast. Just a regular old single crochet through both loops. And that's number three. I'm going to do that for a total of ten. So ten rounds of fourteen, and I will meet you back here when you get all ten done. Alright, so there's all ten rounds to make our thumb. Ten rounds of fourteen. The clicker ten. I finished this one off is just do a slip stitch to the next stitch and finish it off. And we're going to turn it inside out. Turn the thumb inside out. And bring the yarn with you. And we're going to whip this whip stitch this closed just like we did the tip of the fingers. So just whip stitch through every stitch so that you'll be able to cinch it shut. And remember this is on inside out, so these stitches won't really they won't really show. You just go under each, under both loops of each stitch. That should work just fine. We get all the way back around, we're just gonna pull it shut. I got a stitch around all the way. I'm just going to cinch it shut. Pull it nice and tight. It's closed up now. A couple of stitches just to keep that keep it always closed so it doesn't pop open on you again. Doesn't take much. It's a very tiny opening, so just a few little stitches to secure your whip stitch. Very simple. And then knot it off just a little bit. And that's done. Snip. So you can just cut that off. Done. Alright, since that was inside out, we want to bring this thumb back now. There we go. Nice. Now this little tail right here, just pull to the inside if it's a little open right here. Sometimes that happens when you're doing, when I go around here. This one's a little bit open, so I'm just going to take it and pull it through. 
to the other side. Closed up a little bit more. If your opening got a little bit open like mine did, you just whip it shut with, with the remnants that you had right here. Just one extra little stitch will help. If there happens to be a little tiny opening there, like I had on this side, there might be one on the other side, but it's an easy fix. Just like this. Let's fix it really fast. That's really all it's going to need because that's a nice knot. You can do that on the other side too if you need, just in case there's a little opening there. Sometimes that happens, sometimes it doesn't. It just depends on how tight your stitches work. Now all we have left is to finish these ends. So you just tie these off. I like to tie the first two together in a little tiny knot and then weave in the ends. Little tiny knot down here just to keep them secure. Then we'll take all of those with your needle and weave them down their, their matching color on the inside so they don't show anymore. And then you have the matching other hand mitten. Yay, other hand mitten. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Um, please subscribe to my channel, tell all your friends, and stop by for part three of my tailgate trio, which is my cool hat or beanie or whatever you want to call it. But thanks. I'll see you soon. Bye.